Hi, how are you doing? I just took the Metro Gold Line to check if Chinatown is worth visiting. Chinatown is enclosed by three freeways, the 101, the 5, and the 110. It covers Los Angeles State Historic Park, parts of the Los Angeles River, Greater Echo Park, and Union Station. The Chinatown Station is an elevated platform. It is a five-minute walk to Central Plaza and Los Angeles Historic Park. Most visitors go to Chinatown for good food, but there's more to Chinatown, really. You will find pagoda-style buildings here, red lanterns, of course, the traditional Chinese restaurants, dim sum houses, and bakeries, with the specialty grocery stores and gift shops. In this video, we will check out the best spots to look out for here in Chinatown. We will eat in a must-eat place here, and we will check out amazing art in Cake Clan. By the way, always remember that love is a gift and life is a journey. I would be real thrilled if you like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. And off we go! Fun fact about fortune cookies, they were actually made here in California. But there's still a debate ongoing right now and even went to court that the fortune cookies may have been from SF or LA. Just go to College Street and you'll find plenty of parking there at a flat rate of around 5 bucks. The Chinatown Center Plaza is a core for best places to visit here in Chinatown. This is Bruce Lee's statue behind me and it's a 7 foot bronze statue created by an unknown artist in Guangzhou, China. Shannon, Bruce Lee's daughter, made a 5 year effort to bring this bronze statue in the United States. International film star Bruce Lee, his job was to get them out alive. It's the only statue of Bruce Lee here in the US. It is true that Bruce Lee was born in SF, but he had a martial arts school here in Chinatown, Los Angeles. While filming the 1960s movie Green Hornet, thus a perfect place to commemorate the Kung Fu legend. Artist Tyrus Wong painted the Chinese celestial dragon mural in the new Chinatown Central Plaza. 1941 after immigrating to the United States. His father and the Chinese community raised funds to pay for his tuition so he could attend an art institute. One of the first Chinese Americans to be employed by Walt Disney Studios. What is that? Does it hurt? What makes it sound? How, how, party what? It's for celebration of the Lunar New Year. Well, I will ask you to throw some luck for this fountain, but there's no fountain ongoing right now. I still see some coins around. Are you hungry yet? Let's go eat then. Yeah. It's about 2 p.m. I'm very hungry. And we're about to try the most popular dish, which is the slippery shrimp. It's kind of like orange chicken, but it's spicy and sweet at the same time. The spice is so perfect. I can't stop eating. Yes, I had the same shrimp like you did. Use your charm and personality to obtain your wishes. Another popular spot here is the landmark Philippi the Original and known for its French dip sandwich. You just have to be creative in your photos. It's not a big place. You can spend 20, 30 minutes here. And the artist is actually here, and I asked him why he chose Chinatown to be his place of art. I have just a certain combination of, of things, like a lot of great restaurants around here, parking close by the freeway. The neighborhood itself is just incredibly unique in Los Angeles. For me, Chinatown is worth a day trip or half a day trip for authentic food shopping. Also, visiting the new Chinatown Central Plaza for some history especially the Bruce Lee statue. Let me know in the comments what you like best and if I miss anything. I would love to read them all. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for world travel and honest reviews videos. So light, 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 light.